Mr. Bones. What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you. I've got another pickups video to share. Small Dollar Tree haul. Stopped by my store today and found a few, finally. Unfortunately, it wasn't as plentiful as I'd like. I'm not, I wasn't finding the stuff I'm seeing everyone else find. One particular title I wanted to find was uh, From Dust Till Dawn Season 2. The problem is, I found a few titles at the two shittier Dollar Trees and the one better Dollar Tree, there was this manager I would always talk to and even if she hadn't had them out yet, I could get her to go in the back and check for certain titles. But now all of a sudden, I guess she has another manager above her who won't let her put them out until they sell all the shitty ones that have been sitting there for months, which makes no sense. They haven't sold yet. They're not going anywhere. Nothing but junk. Anyway, I'm going to show this first. This is not from the Dollar Tree. I got this in the mail the other day. My friend told me about it being on sale for $9.99. Complete Saw Collection. It's complete. It has, except for it doesn't have Spiral. It has one through Jigsaw. I'm glad to have all the Saws on Blu-ray, but there seems to be a new trend that I'm not a fan of. That they seem to want to condense everything. Like I recently got this cool uh, affordable Phantasm set with all of them in there. But there's no special features on the disc. Why? Why didn't they just put the disc from Screen Factory in there? Instead of making special discs for if you're not paying a bunch of money. We don't want to give you special features. This one. Does not have special features. And it has a... Uh, double features and a triple feature one and two is on the same disc and then you have three four and five all on the same disc six and seven on the same disc the only one that's on its own disc is jigsaw and then for some reason they give you all the movies to get on dvd nobody needs that Alright, here's a few things I found at the tree. Two different trees. And we're back. My battery decided to die on me. First off, I'll show this. This is not for me. But for $1.25, I had to grab it for a friend. I'm sure he'll know who he is. I'm sure our other friend will know who I grabbed it for. Awesome giant monster movie, kaiju type movie. Then I found this was probably my best find. Stoked to find this. Big fan of Scott Atkins. It's a Scott Atkins I don't have. And it's on Blu-ray. Savage Dog. Huge fan of Scott Atkins. He's like modern day John claude Van Damme. I'm also a huge fan of John claude Van Damme. Found Halle Berry's Kidnap. I was unsure at first if I had this. I was glad when I got home to find out I did not have this. I had the call. Which has the same like, font and co similar cover. I swear she also had one called 911 or something like that. A lot of similar movies. Picked up Claire Foy and... Unsane from the director of Contagion and Side Effects. Is she or isn't she? I don't know what this is. I've seen a few people pick it up. Hopefully it's good. I don't even know what genre it is. Plunges audiences into the suspense and drama of a resident. Resilient woman's fight to reclaim her freedom. Even as she risks her own sanity, still scarred from the trauma of being terrorized by a stalker. Yeah, hopefully it's a good movie. Found Creed 1. Now I need Creed 2, and they're working on a Creed 3. So, I enjoyed this one. Thought the second one was alright.
Then I found two shows. Unfortunately, they're only single seasons, not the full seasons. But I found Coach Season 1. I used to watch this all the time back in the day when I was younger. It's a good show. I believe this is Jerry Van Dyke. And I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong, but I think that's the father from Poltergeist. And again, I could be wrong, but I think this is the guy from the stand that says M-O-O-N spells moon. <clears throat> Fleet Season 1. Pretty cool show back in the day. This one here, again, it's only one season and it's uh, three seasons in. I've always been curious of checking this show out, but uh, I'm not going to start at Season 3, but it was still a cool grab. The Shield with Michael Chiklis. Chicago Sun Times says once it grabs you, the shield doesn't let go. It's like an urban type of cop show. Uh, there was one back in the days I loved that got canceled after so long, but it ran for some decent seasons, I think, called New York Undercover. It was a cool show. This seemed similar to it. This is what I grabbed today. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.